All right, what's up everybody? So I got some wrist mobility exercises for you today. And you can do these in between workouts, in between training sessions, when you're just like sitting down, you know, doing nothing. And that's kind of the idea behind them, okay? It's not really to get a workout in the forearm or anything. It's to just to really break up any like inflammation or help help the veins you know, get some mobility in there so you increase the blood flow to your arm and get those veins pumping that fluid back to your heart, back to the rest of the circulatory system, get any like uh, inflammation, toxins, or whatever out of there, okay? I'm just gonna show them to you guys because they're really easy, but you know, you might not even think of doing it because it's just so, it's so easy, but I really actually think it makes a, a difference. So like when you're sitting down doing nothing, just, you know, maybe do, do these for about like two minutes, that's all. So the first one, is just we're gonna do wrist circles like this, okay? And the key is you don't want any of this to be like strenuous, all right? None of it to be strenuous. You don't wanna be like, you don't wanna be like, ah, yeah, or like pushing or anything like that. It's just all using the muscles that are inside of the arm to move the hand around, okay? Inside of the forearm to move the hand around. Okay, so I just start out with circles like this, and then I'll go the other way. Okay, you can do like 10 each way, all right? And then another thing I like to do is, um, so you do 10 one way, then we go 10 the other way. Eight, nine, ten. All right. Then uh, I like to A B duck the fingers, and then and then like adduct them and stretch them a little bit. Like try and stretch it a little bit beyond, but nothing too far. And then adduct or bring your fingers back together. So you can just be sitting down, extend, da, extend, back in. So A B duct, adduct. Boom, boom. You do this about ten times, and then just kind of you know shake it off a little bit. No, this is don't don't try and be strenuous. Don't try and get a workout. This is just to get the blood flow going because it's in between training. All right. Don't try and strain it. All right. And then I want to do circles again. I really like this one, but this time I close my fist. And when you close your fist, if you notice, if you go like this, if you close your fist, if you just go like this with your fingers out. You don't get, like, the stretch isn't that much, but if you close your fist, you get way more of a stretch along this wrist. But we don't want to really, really push it so, so hard. We just want to get a little bit in there. So I'll do circles like this. Down, up, down, up. All right? Nothing strenuous. Just nice and easy. I'll do 10 of these. And then I'm going to reverse it, all right? And just pretend that was ten. All right. So now you can actually just call that quits, right? You don't have to. You don't have to do any of this to any extent. You know, try and find a little routine that works for you, or not even. You could just do it a little bit, and then if you're like, okay, I feel good. You know, I got some blood flow there. I'm feeling warm. Just let the let the body take over and recover those areas, okay? Because the cartilage does not have a lot of capillaries, so it's really not going to get any repair. Um, and uh, increasing that blood flow is really going to help. So just doing these movements, you're increasing the blood flow because you're moving. These muscles need blood, and then all of a sudden, venous return. Veins don't return blood to the heart or to anywhere. The blood and stuff will just sit in the veins until your movement of skeletal muscles, okay? Because that's what squeezes the veins back. Arteries, you know, expand and they pump. But you could just like I used to think personally as um I used to think just. Relax and get as much rest and don't do anything in between training sessions for optimal recovery. Honestly, now I really don't think that's uh that's ideal. I think what the I think what a better idea is is you want to do some activity in between your workouts in between training because you want to get that blood flow going a little bit because your veins will hold blood if they don't if they're not um, squeezed by skeletal muscle movements or like, you know, respiratory movements or anything, but primarily skeletal muscle movements, okay? So, um, that's just kind of a tip I want to throw out there just for the overall body as well. But back to the wrist, okay? Now, you could do those circles and just call it a day, but I also like to add on like these. So, I'll like, I'll go down. You can go down with your fingers first, like this, if you want to just warm it up a little bit, like you're playing the bongos. And then, uh, Curl the hands and then extend. And you can kind of hold this there for a second. All right. And then you can also come back too. All right. So actually, this is extend and this is flex. All right. But whatever. So. And then you can also go to the side. If you want to break it apart and go to the side, depending on where your problem is. 
Go to the side a couple times. In, up, down, up, down, around. All right, so develop a little routine. I would just do like set to 10. You can do whatever works for you. Or you don't even have to do a routine. Just do it until you feel like, oh, I'm good. And then you can always just squeeze it a little bit with your other hand like this to give yourself a little bit of um, space in between there. Open up the gap. But don't like pull your hand off or anything like that. Um, this is not supposed to be a workout. Once again, it's just supposed to help the blood flow and help prevent injury. And um, or if you have an injury, just don't do it. If you have an injury, don't do it to where it hurts. Just do it, you know, to get a little bit of mobility. You know, talk to your doctor. Yeah. All right. Let's get that liability out of here. <laughs> All right. So I hope this little advice helps you guys out and uh, kind of opens, your, expands your mind. And holy shit, there's a chipmunk. Wow. Hope, hope this expands your mind a little bit, you know, uh, just based on uh, the science behind uh, blood flow and all that crap, even though I probably didn't explain much. Um, yeah, so I hope this helps out. You can do this anywhere, really. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.